So down to the basics, let's start from the scratch. The basic element, camera, lens, battery. I got this accessories from Zupa and um, yep, this is like an extension. If you want a follow focus extension on one of the rods and I kind of love this handle and thought that I'll just go with their units. I love this base base too. Not long enough, but I, I chose it because I could extend anytime I want with um, to use a cinema lens. I could always attach this and extend the rod. Um, attachment here from Andy C because we needed a small portable VMAT battery holder that will just be the size. You see how it fits? You can tell this is perfect for it. Uh, something bigger will have more ports and connections, I know, but I just wanted it simple, so this will do just fine. And then the VMAT battery itself, that's all I'm gonna tap my power from. This is the VMAT battery we're going for. Portable size. I reviewed this um, a couple of videos ago and I'll put the link here uh, to check it out so everything stays portable and before I forget if you are thinking about powering this camera with a VMAT battery it is the same um, mount for Sony FS5 I don't know of any other camera maybe the EVA maybe I don't know I'm not sure if you get the adapter that can power up a Sony FS5, then this can work. It's not the regular, it usually comes in this yellow mount. So, so you don't uh, make a mistake, all right? There you go. Okay. And I always like to get the ones with this uh, um, adjuster or, yeah, is it transition now? Trans something to keep the current stable or to safeguard my equipment. This is what the kind of cable you want to go for. So here we go first. If you ask me, this is a little bit too large. I I may switch over to the small rig one because I know that is definitely more portable. But but um, we'll see. This has a presence though. It has a presence that. Uh, I'll see how, how well, if it's in the way, I'll take it off and get the small rig one, which I already have, by the way, not like I'll buy that. But I love this, it looks good. Now this battery um, is gonna be in there. It does not charge while it is connected to a V mount, okay? Um, but it's, it has a lot of power. Uh, it probably can keep it running for about four hours. Uh, which means it is hot swappable without turning off the camera. So my plan is I won't need to depend on this 100%. I only need this one here while I change the external battery unless I am already out of batteries, external um, V mounts, batteries. Then I can let this one run um, while those ones are being charged and then come back to it but what you should know is that this one will go lower and never be charged when that is connected. So um, my approach is I never need to depend on this. I'll change the VMAT battery. I know that this is going to have power while I'm swapping batteries. That's all. So I won't be needing rods here on this setup. I will not need this for now. So I'll take this one aside. This is all I will need. Carbon fiber one from Smory. And it's portable. And I can just have it here. There's no screen here to protect, so the screen will be up here. So we are not scared about how close the VMA battery is going to be. Our tiny VMA holder can come it now.
Let's get this guy here. We'll need this for our monitor. And load it up and get this in. It came with a tiny rod to help you tighten this. I'm going to use that and make it really stir there as much as possible. Now it's going nowhere. Let's put the battery in now. Okay. Alright, this is why. This is why I will, you know, I might stick to this. They level up. The smaller one would have been a little bit smaller and then we have level issues going on. I think I like it. We could close up if you want because there's not much we are doing here. So really if you want to make it more compact we can close this up. You can actually touch, there's not, nothing wrong with that. I'm just going to go with this. All we need is a monitor. and. Uh, which could actually be your smartphone. Actually, you could use a smartphone and you'll be good. For now, we, we're gonna use this. Um, I got this for a light, I think, but I found it to be good and comfortable. Of course, I do have uh, the quick release one, uh, but I can't lay my hands on it, so but we're just gonna use this as a we're going to use this as a demo for now. This here. Okay, our power now, we have two power sources. One for the camera and one for the monitor on this VMAT battery. So if you're getting this, we can work with that. Now, I'm not uh, worried about the monitor going off because it will only be for a few seconds or a minute uh, and I will probably replace the battery or replace this battery but what's recording is the most important it's not, uh, it should never shut down so I'll have this as a backup for the monitor I have the best solution these dummy batteries are the, about the best I've seen what's special about it is it's got this light it will tell you if it's green you're good your connection is right there's nothing going on there's no power breach or failure but if it's red you know your connection is wrong in other words take it off and check your connection again you're gonna see that it will light up if the connection is right Ta-da! and so we are good to go we have no problem perfect light I love it. I love it. I guess we should move the monitor over on the other side. So the camera, because the camera power unit is right here. Like I said, it's the same code with the Sony FX5. Um, I'll write the name for it. And uh, we can get the power here. Good. And the setup is pretty much ready. This is the run and gun version, ready to go. But uh, the good thing is, there's also control from the monitor to this, which I'm going, I'm looking into, um, controlling the camera from using the remote port that we are looking into. So, but we'll turn it on now. Let's turn on our camera. So camera is on. Let's turn on our monitor. So monitor is on. I'm gonna borrow this code from my pocket 6K. So now let's check on the fact that uh, when we take off this battery, when we take off the um, the internal battery, the power still continues and vice versa. So we're going to switch between both batteries and see how the process goes. 
and we can take this one off. We're taking this battery off, and we still have power. Okay, I'm gonna put it back. And take this one off. The VMAT battery off. I'm gonna take it off. And we still have power. Okay, so it's really unswappable. I think just for good looks, it's better it comes out a little bit. Yeah, I'll go with this. Ready to shoot. So something like this. With the right thought, we can actually get control over the camera, which will make it really seamless, and you have to touch only this to control. So I've, I've ordered for something that I think will work. Um, yeah, found something, they said it was for the BGS one, but of course it's a third party one until it gets here, I won't know. So, Rick set up one. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next rig uh, where I'm doing actually the one with the small rig kit which is on the way here in the mail coming soon. Thank you. All links will be in the description. So check them out if you if you like any of this. Feedback is also appreciated. Like, comment and uh, let us know what tips and tricks you can contribute to what we know.